let's find the six trig functions of 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be in 90 degrees. This could also be in radians. So remember that this is the same thing as pi over 2 radians. So let me draw my angle in standard position. Going up to 90 degrees. I'm going to pick a point on the terminal side of theta, which is again 90 degrees. Okay, so the x-coordinate is going to be 0. The y-coordinate, really just pick anything you want. Just for simplicity, I'll choose 1. Okay, so then the sine of 90 degrees, or sine of pi over 2, okay, is going to be the opposite over hypotenuse. If you think about what's happening here, the hypotenuse is just going to be 1. And then the opposite is also just 1. So 1 over 1. Cosine of 90 degrees is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent, we didn't go anywhere left or right, so that's just 0. Hypotenuse is 1. I'm sorry, 0. So hypotenuse is 1, so 0 over 1 is 0. The tangent of 90 degrees, opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is going to be 1. The adjacent is 0. So this is undefined. Okay, once you have those three, then we'll just take the reciprocals. So then the cotangent of 90 degrees, or again, pi over 2, the reciprocal of 1 over 0, so that's just 0. The secant of 90 degrees, the reciprocal of 0 over 1, so 1 over 0, that's undefined. And then the cosecant of 90 degrees, the reciprocal of 1, which is 1. 